Well, look at this already. I'm not talking about the scrap, but the ambulance not responding and the one that is responding. How about that shit? Check these out. Aren't these the biggest fucking flower pots you ever seen in your life? How much do you think one of these cost? <laughs> I'm so fucking blind. Even zoomed in, I don't see what's responding. Probably a cop. Oh, he's fucking stuck there. What a terrible place to be responding. Jesus Christ. Or is it an ambulance? Or it's a fire chief. I think it's a fire chief. Yeah, I think it's a fire chief. Still can't tell. Better, it's a spare fire truck. Could be. No, it's an ambulance. Oh man, that sucks. Well, I mean, it sucks for the person he's responding to or, or carrying car. You're kind of an irony, eh? Two fucking Econolines there, E-150s. And here in Montreal, you almost don't even see them anymore. I like these uh, old Econolines more than these uh, Chevy Express. Never liked that Chevy Express. I think it's too fucking square. You know? Ah, this poor fucking guy. Jesus Christ. Fuck. And it's a Ford. I think it's a Ford. Six cylinder still. That is a weird coincidence. That's never happened before. It's rare to get a an ambulance stuck in traffic like that responding, but to actually have two fucking E-150 Econoline series trucks and then that is an E series. We don't have many of those. Sometimes I think that when I see one of those here in Montreal, it's that it's not a Montreal unit. It's from Laval or the South Shore, maybe. That's what I'm thinking. You know? And there's another one there. The last of its kind. Ah! That is interesting. That is why I love to do what I do. God damn. I almost missed that guy, fuck, he came so fast. That's three for today. They ain't over yet. Right on. Ambulance number four today responding. Yeah, in a rush hour red race. And now it's starting to really pour. Oh, starting to pour big time. <laughs> 